booktube how are we doing today we're gonna do a quick review on these guys the uh, wheel dollies from uh, Harbor Freight these cost us $50 a pair they come in a pack of two we needed four of them because we're gonna put the 53 on wheel dollies so we can move it side to side and around let's see what's in there so each box comes with two plates these are like the diamond cut style steel plates uh, it's gonna have four casters uh, per plate and each back of the two casters so you get a total of four so you do have to assemble them we're gonna get everything laid out and then uh, see what tools we need Alright, so we laid everything out. We're going to use a 22 to hold the big nut down on the actual caster. And then an 18 socket for the nut that locks it in place. My wife has already got one of them assembled. And you just want to go ahead and do the lock washer until the lock washer is flat. And then maybe give it another quarter turn if that. So. They're really easy to assemble, and then once we're done, we'll get them all put together and get them onto the car. See, just use an electric ratchet to snug it up, and then we'll give it a little, little snug with the ratchet ratchet, and then we'll throw them under the car and see how they work. Okay, so you want to make sure that your flat washer is first, then the crush washer, and then the nut. Now, you want to make sure your flat washer and your... Uh, crush washer are on the nut side so this doesn't need to be against the flat washer just on this side and then you're going to tighten that down until the flat washer I'm sorry crush washer is flat and it will go back and snug it up with the manual ratchet and I just realized after I had showed you how to do the crush washer and flat washer that I had the caster on the wrong side the casters go on the flat bare side of the bracket meaning it's concave this is where your wheel is going to sit in here make the diamond plate on the top side where the nut is. So snug them up, use the box end because that way it's going to slide off on the nut. So to snug them up, we're going to use two wrenches to use it. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Wrong wrench. 18, my bad. So snug them up, we're going to use the 22 on here and the 18 on there on the nut and we ended up going with a box end wrench because it was just going to be a little easier than using the uh, than using the the, uh, the manual ratchet pull down and that's it we're just snugging them up after we did the after we do the ratchet or the electric ratchet all right, so we're gonna jack it up. We have the front chucked down, chalked it down, sorry. So we're gonna jack up the rear, put the wheel dollies on the rear first. So we will get the car up in the air and then show you how to roll them under. this chalk out of the way you want to make sure that your tire is centered with the indent of the wheel dolly so try to get it in the middle so that that's what holds the wheel it'll move a little bit on its own once you lower it but try to get it right off the bat like that we're gonna rotate this guy because they give you a little handle and then it'll just be easier if we need to pull them out later on and I'm just going to drop the jack. That's it. So, now that it's on the ground, when you're lowering it from the rear, you can see if the tires are centered up or not onto the wheel dollies. And because it's a 53 Chevy, it has a differential on it, a uh, live axle. 
So we just went for the center pumpkin and that's where we lifted it. On the front, we're gonna do the same thing, only we're gonna lift it from the front frame, which is down there somewhere. All right, all four casters are on, or wheel dollies, sorry, not casters. They do have wheel caster locks on them. They don't work very well, unfortunately. That's the flaw. But for the price, if you have a really well flat garage, it's not too bad. You can get around it. So, the 53 can now be pushed either way, that way. And you see it's already tilted in there. Or we can push it this way, all the way against the wall, or bring it back towards us, or flip it horizontal this way later on. And this is just going to allow us to actually work on this side of the car and then be able to put it back to where we want it, giving us space for the other car, and then move it back or forward if we need to access anything from this side of the garage, we usually don't. So, overall, the wheel dollies work great for 100 bucks, and your home garage, it is not a bad deal. It does what it's supposed to do. They do have a nicer option. Um, with the hydraulic individual jack per wheel, but those are about 120 bucks per wheel. And we didn't want to spend that much. Uh, we may never use them again after this. And, well, it's probably gonna sit on this for a while anyways, but still, uh, it works great. We like them. They're rated at 1,500 pounds a piece. They assemble super easy with a 22 and an 18 wrench. Uh, we cheated with our electric ratchet but this is going to allow us to do what we need to do and that's it well quick easy review on the pittsburgh model harbor freight wheel dollies make sure you give the like the subscribe and the notification bell leave us a comment we're going to roll this over and start working on the driver's side have a great week god bless